wheels all off, ready to start the brakes. I want to do the throttle linkage, sort that out, and I want to get the wiring in and somewhat soon try and start it because I don't think it's too far off being able to be started. For wheel cylinders, I'm using the fronts that came on it. Um, now, although they don't look great, I think they're pretty new, um, haven't really had any use, so they seem alright, so I'm going to use them. And then it came with one back, brand new, and Dad had one that he gave me, lying around the garage, uh, a back one. It's the next day. This is not the Series 3 steering box, this is the Series 2 one. Uh, clean, painted, the whole lot. But this is going on and I can put the original wheel on. The project came with a load of the pre-made brake lines and they're quite a nice and they're a nice material and if I can I'm going to use them. It's been an awful long time since I've filmed anything. Uh, I've been really busy over the Christmas period working, so I haven't actually done that much work on the Series 2. Today's task is to finish the brakes, completely finish them, and if I can, get fluid in the system. So, I've done the back end of the brakes, and the brakes themselves are all finished off. Dad was doing some brake pipes the other day for his 80. Um, and he bent me these for the front, so I'm going to use these. I've got to do the one from the union to the front left, which I'm going to try and go under the radiator panel. Standard goes on the flywheel cross member. Um, seems a little low. Dad said when he was trialling his 80 when he was my age, he said he wants whacked the flywheel cross member up, and in which case, no brakes. Um, Dad's 80 goes right the way to the to a cross member further back. I'm going to go forwards and take the radiator panel off. 30 seconds left. I, I'm not bidding anymore. This is my max price, and I bid it ages ago. Fair chunk. They're quite rare. This comes with all the bits. Lines done. Uh, I might put some fluid in them, make sure that everything's tight. Took a bit of fine tuning to get them to make sure they cleared the um, drag link for the steering, make sure that's all clear. I then went over, took the radiator panel off, and I've gone around the front, um, put some little clips on, they aren't going anywhere. We're all good to go. Get the radiator panel back on. I'm going to change the top hose because I think this is a Series 2 hose for a deep Series 1 and 2 radiator um, rather than the 3 radiator that I'm using, so I've got a different hose. Before any of the work could commence, I had to really, really clean it down. The underside was full of years and years of rubbish, and 
I sort of had to get to all the bad bits. Now, the points where it mounts the chassis at the front are all corroded away, and the same for where it mounts the seat box. So, I bought replacement panels, I cut out the rubbish and fitted them, as well as fabricating new bits myself with what little fabrication skills I had and the use of a rivet gun and about 150 rivets. With most of the work being underneath, when the tub went back on, it doesn't look terribly different, but if you put your head under there, you'll, you'll notice the difference. So, work on the tub is commencing currently. Um, I am replacing this panel here, which this is, the, I'm putting in this replacement panel here, um, which was heavily corroded, so I cut the old one out, uh, or I drilled the spot welds out and pulled the old one out. I'm also doing the B pillars. They looked like that, and the new ones look like that. So they're like double, they're, they're double skinned, so, and the grade of aluminium that they use now is slightly thicker, which is absolutely fine. So they'll go on top because the section is the wrong, no, it's not. The section that goes to the seat box was just heavily corroded and you couldn't work with it, which is why that's going to come in. This afternoon the rear tub is going on series 2, we're going to bring it over. I've got to pull the rear section of the loom through the chassis beforehand, get everything ready um, and then it's going on. Quite a momentous moment really, I've, it's quite a big panel so you can really tell the difference when it's on. The tub's back on, um, filmed a little bit, it was just, we wanted to just get it over and done with. Um, I thought I'd try some wheels for size, see what what looks the part. These are, these, that's a spare off Dad's 80, but that's essentially the tyre that I'll be using. So I want to see how it looks and filled everywhere. I've also stuck the tailgate on just for just because it's an easy win. It looks really cool. It looks like a, from the right angle, it looks like it's almost finished. <laughs> 